the incredible Iranian artist, Mariam Sanjari Hashemi. Is that, am I pronouncing it correctly? That is perfect. Could you tell us what inspires this extraordinary art of yours that I'm looking at today at the Affordable Art Fair? <laughs> well, they basically create themselves. So I'm only a tool for them to come through and exist in this physical realm. I don't know what their agenda is, but I'm basically being used. <laughs> so when you start painting, the, the painting itself takes you over, so to Yeah, speak. totally. So sometimes I have a very specific inspiration, but, but, but for these ones on, on, on display, um, they basically just happen and I have to allow them to just kind of be created. And when I paint, it is a channeling. So I'm not really thinking about what I'm painting, what's happening, if I see certain images come through the patterns. So I create the patterns to begin with, the background, and then I can start seeing images, scenes, different characters appearing. And I don't like to overthink it, I'll just paint it. And sometimes I feel, hey, there's way too many faces, but I just go with it. And Sometimes it takes me a while to find a theme or understand anything specific myself and a lot of times it's actually a complete mystery to me. So what I found is different people find different things in them. So it is in a way a mirror or like a portal that's giving back people what, um, what they want to see. So it is very curious. I'm very curious to see what's what, how they interact with people. That's why when people find something in them, I want to know more because every person sees a different thing. And that's why I just find it the most enjoyable way to create art. It's amazing. So you said earlier, or you said just now, sometimes you're not even really thinking. Would Most you say, of the time I'm not thinking. Would you say you're improvising a bit like a jazz It musician? is exactly what it is. Yes, exactly. It's an, it's an improv. So, yeah. um, and I, I sometimes paint to music, like this one here. I've been listening to certain tribal tunes and lots of different lyrics that had the tribal tone, um, Nordic kind of music. And so I've just been listening to those while I was painting and I was dancing a lot. Um, this one has some music in it too, because it was during some live events that I did, uh, kind of did the start of it. So it definitely has a bit of music, musical energy. And, and the smaller ones, I've just been creating backgrounds and patterns and just waiting on it. And then one day at the time, I would just sit and explore the images. So they're, they're, they have a more of a childlike energy in them. Playful. How, how often do you paint to music, to live music? I know whenever, whenever I can, whenever there's, a, there's an opportunity. Sometimes different musicians or different event organizers would ask me to to paint uh, for the live event and do the live painting. Describe and how that experience is, painting. Oh, it's completely different to what I create on my own. Um, it's a very different, I basically dance while I paint, so my whole body is created. And it's a very, very energizing and just, it, it is a trance. Like, I, I absolutely love it. I can't wait to see you do that. I can't wait to do it again. To I actually asked them, can I do some live painting here? And they said, no. Okay. Well, I've got a gig <laughs> coming up at town. I would love Let's find to out. join in. As long as you have a space next to your piano. Absolutely. For an easel, I can contain my mess really well. Um, how long have you been in London then? I've been a Londoner for more than 20 years. And how would you describe this crazy city? I love London. It's basically whatever you want it to be. So London is a mirror. Do you think it's, it's my mirror. Has it inspired you artistically? So much because there's just so many different worlds are colliding and coexisting and there's so many different bubbles of existence that are just so, it's so dense. So for me, for somebody with ADHD or whatever else, not fully diagnosed, but it's just very stimulating because you can jump from one bubble to another and explore different universes that exist in this amazing place. Absolutely. And like, 
what emotions, I mean, inspire you in terms of, I don't know, Dark love, emotions. Dark, anger, dark, um, dark fear. emotions. What, what but, you emotions? Know, all emotions. Uh, but I, but, but I, I, I think I have a lot of intensity in my work. That's why it's not for everyone. It's for those that are in a good communication and contact with the dark side. So a lot of people see my work and find it scary. Um, it triggers something in them. And that's fair enough. They're not ready. They're not ready. I mean, they may never be. But uh, a lot of people that um, resonate with, with the way I work, I can connect to them. So if somebody comes and likes my work, I'm asking them for their number. Because I'm sure we can connect if they like this. We like each other. I think the mark of a great artist is, for me, originality. And I have to say, your paintings are so you. They, they do not you. really remind me of anyone else but you. Well, I mean, you can... I, I mean, yeah, we have you. shades. We have shades I'm of, sure you uh, can find so many other artists in there because I'm inspired by everything I see. Shades of inspiration, yeah. It goes in, you know, because it comes out. But you, you know, are, it's like a creative poop. It's whatever yeah. you eat, it comes out. It's a stew, you know, it's a soup. Of course you're going to see traces of all art and all films and people I've met. And, and many that I haven't. They come through, <laughs> but yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely. I, I'm inspired by you know my my visual vocabulary is made of everything that I've always been inspired by, and I've been inspired by so many things. It's just so many, not just not just paintings. It's so many. Things. So that's why it's busy. I guess I wanna say a lot. Yeah, so I'm many felt. voices. Seinfeld, the comedian Jerry Seinfeld, said a great artist performer has to change the room, meaning they come on stage or they present their art, and when they leave the room, the room's ambience has changed, that's the energy has changed, and I think your art changes the room. Oh, and that's such a that's that, that's like the best thing I can hear about my art. It changes the room. It, 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 and yet the change, you know, it affects, whether it's, it affects one. Yeah, just in whatever way. And, you know, and one is, one is I left thinking that. about Thank the you. images. The images are swirling around one's mind like a great song or a great play. Oh, Thank, Thank you for you talking so to us today. Thank you so much for talking to me and looking at my